I had the operation essentially because I'd been in an awful lot of pain um, for many years with both my knees, um, very restricted to my life. It was a, I was on, I was on anti-inflammatories every day, I was on painkillers every day. I couldn't really walk more than about 200 yards without being in a lot of pain. I couldn't stand still was one of the weird things. Um, it's actually worse than not being able to walk. So if someone stopped me in the corridor and wanted to talk to me, I, could, I really struggled. Um, if I went just doing the, like the grocery shopping for wandering around Tesco's for an hour, when I got home, I'd have to kind of ice my knee, sit with my leg up and recover. Um, I've got a teenage daughter, well, she was younger then, through all the pain, uh, and I just couldn't do things with her. I couldn't walk her. Anything that involved walking, I couldn't do, uh, which is surprisingly <laughs> restrictive. The type of procedure I carried out on Lizzie Little was a bicompartmental or two-part knee replacement. Um, Leslie uh, had two parts of her knee which were damaged, not the whole knee. So she had a, um, the lateral or outer part of the knee in pristine condition. Historically we would have replaced this with a full knee replacement, taking away the good tissue and also in the process um, uh, removing um, the anterior cruciate ligament. Uh, with the conformist knee replacement uh, we were able to just replace the damaged areas. This is a model of the bicompartmental knee replacement. Uh, the lower end of the thigh bone uh, has a surface replacement of metal. And if you look, hardly any bone is taken away at all, unlike a total knee replacement. On the th shin bone, uh, the damaged area is removed and a metal plate and a plastic spacer is put in. Uh, and this preserves the outer part of the knee and also the cruciate ligaments in the middle of the knee. The procedure performed on Leslie uh, is fairly new, um, but many thousands of these cases have been done both in America and Germany. She had the first one uh, carried out in this country. The way I look at it is that if you wanted to buy a pair of shoes, you wouldn't go to a shop that only stocked three or four sizes. Uh, we know that mismatching the uh, prosthesis uh, to the bone uh, results in problems of, of pain and possibly instability. A custom-made prosthesis um, overcomes these problems. Her initial recovery uh, was quite rapid. Um, there have been advances in anaesthetic techniques which have contributed to this, but she was able to get back to driving uh, within four weeks and back to everyday activities um, within about the same uh, time frame. I think one of the key things is I'm not in any pain. Um, I thought, which is so, I almost want to use the word uplift, but it's so relieving. You don't realise how constant, I mean, it, sometimes it's low level pain, but it's just the constancy of it just really does run you down after a while. So I've got none of that, not on tablets anymore. I used to be on tablets every day. Um, and I can just do things. Like I say, I've got, I've got a teenage daughter. I couldn't go shopping with her because I couldn't walk around the shops. If she wanted to go and try something on, I couldn't stand still outside the waiting room. Or we, she got to know that she used to have to go around shops and look for places where I could sit down. Went to a rugby match last Saturday, which involved walking for about a mile to get there, up lots of steps, down again. Just, I wouldn't have even thought about it. It's relatively common to have two parts of the knee um, affected by arthritis. When one part is affected, we can use a, a, a unicompartmental knee replacement. But until now, uh, if more than one part is affected, we've had to use a total knee replacement. Uh, and so there is a, a, a large group of patients who may well benefit from this procedure. The care was excellent while I was here. I only, I was only stayed in for three nights, I think. Very attentive um, nursing staff, physio was great, got me out of bed that day. Um, quite tough, but um, necessary and very nice with it. Um, I couldn't fault it. No. I would recommend it without question. What's the future for Leslie? We have to accept that uh, this is a mechanical uh, implant and it has a, a shelf life. I'm hoping that she will get uh, at least 20 years uh, of good service from it, uh, but things do wear out. By removing only a minimum amount of bone at surgery, um, we're not um, causing problems for a further replacement. Um, and that should be a much more straightforward procedure. I think it's likely she will have to have one at some stage. Since I've had my knee, I see my future as far more active. Um, 
like everyone, I'm a bit slow getting off the mark, but I really do. It would be such a waste if I didn't get myself fitter and do more things. And so many things are now open to me. Um, I do have some problems with the other knee, but it makes. I know I need to get that sorted because otherwise it defeats the whole object of having one good one and one bad one. And I'm, I'm. I just need to get it done and get get out there doing things. So yeah, hopefully. Am I pleased with how she's progressed? Uh, I'm delighted. Um, she, uh, she says that uh, it's uh, given her a new lease of life in terms of the, even the simplest of things which we take for granted. It made a huge difference to my life. Um, I think it's put me back where <laughs> I think I'm, I'm now more of a, I'm an average unfit middle-aged woman. Um, I'm not a middle-aged woman who can only do things that an old-aged woman can do. I think it's brought me uh, a lot more years and I can do a lot more things with my daughter. It's just given me a normal life back. Thank you.